am so excited to be back here talking with you guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Anna from Anna with Illness. I am a registered nurse, wife, and mom of two, this little fur baby. And I am going to talk about soothing aches and pains with essential oils and some natural remedies and tips and tricks. If you've been following along with me, you probably know by now how much I love looking at your body as a whole and really taking a holistic approach and not just masking up something, but really trying to get there and deal with the problem of it. This is really important when it comes to things like aches and pains, because you do want to relieve those aches and pains, but you don't want to just mask the problem and you really want to deal with what's going on. That is where essential oils are so incredibly powerful because not only you're able to have oils that work like an analgesic, so being able to relieve that pain, but also helps with the healing process and recovering from whatever's going on. So things that are regenerative, things that are anti-inflammatory. This is so important when you're dealing with aches and pains to really get to the root of what's going on and not just mask it up. Because not only are you helping decrease pain in that moment, but you're also looking more long-term at dealing with the true issue that's going on, causing those aches and pains. So I'm going to go over some of my top favorite oils that I really like, some favorite blends, how to make some of these together into your own customized blend, how to use them when you are dealing with aches and pains, where to put them, how often, all that kind of stuff. One of my favorite individual oils, one of my absolute favorites is Copaiba. Copaiba is actually considered to be one of the most anti-inflammatory substances on earth. That is so huge when it comes to aches and pains because one of the core problems a lot of times is inflammation. Copaiba not only is anti-inflammatory, but it also works as an analgesic and anti-arthritic. One of my absolute favorites is blue tansy. Blue tansy actually works as an antihistamine. So this works in a different way of being anti-inflammatory. So this helps a lot with those kind of issues that are causing the aches and pains. Then to go along with our trend of anti-inflammatory oils, frankincense is another one that has great anti-inflammatory properties as well as being regenerative, which is once again, looking at that holistic approach and looking more long-term and being able to do not only here and now decrease pain, but also in the future. Some other wonderful ones are marjoram and lemongrass. These really work as natural analgesics, pain relievers. Um, these are really wonderful oils. Two favorites of mine that are doTERRA exclusive blends are ones like Deep Blue and Aroma Touch. Both of these have multiple oils in them that help to naturally reduce pain and inflammation. The best ways to use these oils to help with the aches and pains are going to be topically, soaking, and internally. I'll go through each of these a little bit. For topical use, example, if your knee is hurting, you're going to want to use it in that exact spot that you're having the issue. You can apply it every 15, 30 minutes, depending on what you really need. If it's something that's more chronic, like you got to have inflammation between your knuckles kind of thing or around your knuckles, then you might do it throughout the day or at least in the morning and the night to really get a jump on that if you know that that's a chronic issue of yours. This is where making roller blends are really, really wonderful. So a roller blend is simply like this. You put it off the top and you got a little roller here and then you can just roll on the spot. That makes it really great for on-the-go use and not having to blend a bunch of stuff. Another really great way to address aches and pains is through soaking. So this would be more if you're having multiple areas on your body that you're having aches and pains. So you can either do that in a full body immersion tub or you can even just do like a foot soak. Um, I typically would recommend doing these for about 20 minutes at a time if you're going to be adding a lot of oils to them. You can also add in Epsom salts. Epsom salts help to increase relaxation, decrease inflammation and pain and all of that as well. And so they work really well with essential oils and it's all natural, which is wonderful. The last way to use essential oils to help with aches and pains is internally. You can do so by doing a drop or two under your tongue. You can put them in a little veggie cap and swallow them. This, though, is where it is extremely important that you're using essential oils that are actually truly pure. 
I personally only recommend and use myself for my whole family doTERRA essential oils. I will share a couple of my favorite blends. So using a few of these oils together to really get all of the properties that you need, depending on what your ish core issue is. I'll share a few and then you can also link down here, get my free cheat sheet that will go over what I've already talked about and some further information that I just don't have time to talk about in this. So for aches and pains, that the main issue most likely is inflammation. This is my favorite blend. 10 to 15 cups of Copaiba, Blue Tansy, Frankincense, and Deep Blue. Put those in a 10 milliliter roller, so about this size. And then you top it off with fractionated coconut oil and you can rub that on whatever issue you're having. My dad loves this for his tennis elbow. He's able to play with my kids and do all kinds of things and it doesn't bother him. Anywhere he's got inflammation, aches and pains all over his body, he just rolls this on. He has me make two of them so he always has a backup. He loves this one and I love it too. Blend to do in a roller. So this is once again a 10 milliliter roller it is 15 drops of frankincense, marjoram and lemongrass. This is called pain bomb roller. And this is great if you don't quite know the root issue of that pain, but you want to get some relief, this is the one that I would recommend. A really great soaking one for your feet if your feet are really tired is one drop of frankincense, two drops of peppermint, and four drops of rosemary with a fourth of a cup of Epsom salt. Mix it into a warm bath and soak for about 20 minutes for your feet to get some relief and to help with the healing process. For a really good intense pain relief balm to take internally, take a veggie cap and do two to four drops each of frankincense, margarine, or oregano. So pick one of those two, margarine or oregano to do. And that is really great to decrease that pain. If the pain isn't quite as intense, then I would do less. You can also do oils such as lemongrass and copaiba. All right, so those are the ones that I have for today and have time for. Once again, check out that link below to be able to get your free cheat sheet that goes more in depth into all of this. My family, my whole family, essential oils have been so powerful for us and have been such a great way to be able to decrease our use of Western medicine and non natural products and just be able to better our health in that holistic way. I hope that you found that helpful and that it can help decrease some of those aches and pains that you may be feeling. If you don't have these oils, if you don't have oils at all, please contact me and I'd absolutely love to be able to get you started, help you get some of these at a 25% discount and give you ongoing education and support and all of that. Hope you have a great day and that you're able to maybe check out some of my other videos, subscribe, and I hope that I can continue educating you. Thanks.